Welcome back, guys. Today I want to talk about... Uh, well, I do want to talk about this knife from Michael Zeba, but I also want to talk about this kit or this trio, uh, this set, if you will, that Chris from the Thai Addiction uh, YouTube channel put together. These were loaned in from him. I will put a link to his channel down below. I will also put a link to another Michael Zeba video that I did with a knife that was loaned in from Alex over at the Knife Box channel. Just because I did one of, of uh, Alex's a ways back also, but I'll link that just in case you want to get a different look at a different variation of this Zeba S5. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a dark themed setup we have here. I think this is a very cool case. Okay, it's your normal Zeba zippered um, vinyl case with a hawk moth or a sphinx moth on the outside and a nice red velvet uh, liner, interior padded zippered pouch, which we'll just put off to the side for now. It also came with this microfiber cloth that was designed and put together specifically for this knife. Because the uh, hawk moth feeds off of um, honey and whatnot, you can read up about that if you want to find out about the uh, insects. All right. So Chris originally bought this knife first and then went out and collected these other items. So let's talk about the other items for just a moment first. He's got a coin. Okay. Stars cannot shine without darkness. Never stop looking up. I think that's kind of a cool little saying. This one here, per aspera ad astra. Okay. It's Latin and I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong and that's okay. But it stands for through hardships to the stars. You know, I get it. We've got to go through hardship in life to get to where we want to be, right? So then he also found this Hawk Moth Zippo lighter, which I think is just really cool. He nailed it in you know, fashion with the knife that Michael Zeba came up with. Standard Zippo lighter, uh, you know, I think we're all aware of what that is. Very cool piece. I do have the box over there and a pouch for that and all that. But we'll stick that off the side. And while we're zoomed in, let's take a look at this S5. This is truly an amazing knife. I like the S5 model from back when I borrowed Alex's. A um, couple things I didn't love. I didn't love the feel of the flipper tab on the tip of my finger, um, but the feel of the knife in the hand is fantastic. And we'll talk about that. And I'll show you all that stuff here in a minute. And we will get to the details. Okay. Just kind of mixing it up. I'm going to put the details towards the end. Um, but this is a beautiful example. Okay. In typical Zeba fashion, he has the skull backspacer out of brass, titanium scales, titanium pocket clip, titanium hardware, same Latin inscription on the titanium pocket clip. The blade has the stars up above and it fades into a solid black. Zeba logo, Night Knives, again, the stars and the black. The wings, just beautiful. I mean, this is really kind of a showpiece. I don't think this is something that Chris carries around. It's really just a piece to own, right? I think we all have that in our collections. On the inside of the backspacer, more Latin, Memento Mori, 
which is funny. It means, remember, you must die. So really, we always have to kind of keep that in the back of our minds. We're only here on this planet for a limited amount of time. That's just a given. The uh, interesting thing about that is my tattoo shop is called Memento Mori Tattoo. So when I first got this knife and really looked it over, I, I just kind of smiled. I mean, I knew what it meant. So I like the way they did the lanyard tube. If you're a lanyard person, it's not a tube, the lanyard post. Really, the backspacer just kind of angles down and runs under that lanyard post. I don't know. I think that's just an ingenious way of doing it. It does stick out proud a little bit. It is not completely smooth. There is a little bit of a rough spot here on the horns of that skull. So depending, you may catch that on your shirt. And right here again with the horns, you may catch that on your shirt. Doesn't really hang up in the pocket or anything, but depending on what you're wearing, eh, you know, it could catch a little bit there. Now inside, which is really a Zeba, I don't know, signature thing, it's heavily milled for weight re <laughs> Yeah. It's heavily milled for weight reduction. I guess that's kind of silly. Uh, Michael calls them air pockets. But yeah, it's very deep milling to really offset the weight and the size of these titanium scales. Okay, let's just zoom back out. It feels really nice in the hand. This full-size knife fits great. The scales are really contoured. They swell up in the middle, shrink back down, and swell up at the butt. So your hand is really locked in. They're contoured this direction also. So it's very, very comfortable. <clears throat> you can sort of choke up. It's not really a finger choil, but you can wrap your finger around that flipper tab. Um, you just need to watch out for the actual sharpening choil because that point is rather sharp. Depending on how you were to wrap your finger around the flipper tab, eh, you know, could end up badly. Great jimping on top. Comfortable, yet grippy. It's going to work fantastic. The action, super great. This one, the lock bar pressure is, I think, a little bit less than what Alex's is. So it's a little bit easier to unlock and manipulate than the one I had from Alex. So all in all, this thing is really nice. I love this example. This is one of my favorite S5s that I've seen and gotten a chance to handle. <clears throat> so let's run through some of, the, some of the specs really quick for you. Four and five eighths closed, eight and one eighth overall, 3.52 inch blade, 3.4 inch cutting edge. It's just a hair over two thou behind the edge. That's 0.21 behind the edge. Blade thickness is 0.156. Overall thickness is 0.768. It is M390 blade steel. Weighs in at 5.3 ounces, which seems heavy, but your D-cell battery is five ounces. So it's, it's really not bad in the pocket. It carries great in the pocket. The pocket clip is good. Has decent spring to it so that it does not get hung up on your pants easily in and out of the pocket runs on ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent so it's super smooth not drop shut but again i drop shut is silly to me i don't believe that drop shut is the sign of good action it's it's just not it's it's a sign of something, but it does not equal good action. I mean, I guess it can be good action, but it. the point is a knife does not need to be drop shut to have a good action. There you go. You guys know what I mean. 
Okay, let's do a couple of quick size comparisons since we've kind of rambled on this one already at 10 freaking minutes, really? So the Sharpie and a number two pencil. Spider Codelica. Because I have one here, how about a Red Horse Knife Works P-Series Hellraiser all blacked out? Sort of. As blacked out as you can get with the carbon fiber uh, scales. Double A and D-cell batteries. I think it's a great knife. I think the S5 is a knife that's a little underrated. If you have an opportunity to get one or handle one, please do yourself a favor and go handle one. And in the meantime, go check out my other S5 video and have a great day.